sweet, you guys, you have no idea, he is just so full of love, and all he wants to do is sit on my shoulder and poop all day, that is all he wants to do, and right now he feels a little tense because he just wants to go to bed, it's midnight, and I was staying up late as usual just to film a video when it's quiet enough and all my neighbors are shh. very 
varies from country to country, state to state. I know when Jenny got hers in Sweden, they typically average like fifty hundred hundred dollars. Here they average hundred dollars to hundred fifty dollars. I think I got this one for one twenty, and I got it from an organic store, so they had these like open seats and everything. But my friend told me that you are not supposed to buy open seats. They're supposed to be in their bags because open seats have.
my storage space is another 150, so I don't have that much room in general. So, um, one bird and one small animal like this is more than enough for a tiny place like this for them to fly around and do their daily things. I try to open my pet's bird cage throughout the whole day, only when I'm cooking and only when I have to go somewhere do I close him. Otherwise, he is open, free to roam around all day, and typically he doesn't just roam around himself. He will either just fly to me or fly back to his cage. Familiar, comfortable territory. He doesn't really like to explore that much because he's very afraid of everything. He's a very fearful animal, and I try to teach him not to be. I try doing things like holding the marker up to him and for a few minutes petting him, saying it's okay, it doesn't work, you can't push these animals. But I do believe with the right mindset he can change and he can feel less fearful. So I'm his mama and his papa and everything he ever knows and probably never will know. So that's the best I can do as a lovable owner is take care of my boopsy and he has no one else. So, he's really lucky to be with me, I think, and I take really great care of him, and I'm very aware. I change his water once a day. You can do this two or three times a day, especially in Florida. It's really hot, so his water gets warm fast, so I try to do it more often. On top of those seeds, I also give him millet, and millet is another great addition to his nutrition. Like I said, these are not just regular seeds, they're contained with different vitamins like, and different seeds like sunflower seeds, which is another great addition to our diet. If they just eat seeds, it's unhealthy because it's very fatty, and you will notice that on your bird very soon, so if they remain their slim shape like he does, super. This is extreme calcium coated millet, and I think this is in strawberry. So I have one package of this. I try to keep one package of each at all times to have more than enough ready for him. This is regular millet with strawberry. This is extreme millet spray. Just regular millet, as you'd see in the stores. This is regular millet with blueberry.
nails there and um, they don't prefer to be nails like this at all uh, they have good leg length there and their feet are humongous compared to their bodies and they use it for getting around and climbing around so treat them as people and treat them as you'd want to be treated they're very very good birds and uh, even if they're screaming you know sometimes they just have their days and they just want to get out this one's very loud during the morning so when I wake up the first couple hours after he has his millet he gets full and he calms down and he just goes right to sleep he's such a little baby and I just can't see him growing up honestly he's just very special well isn't that special <laughs> he's just very special and he's just a little baby that's all I can say right boopsy so your name So 